Hi, welcome back to my channel, Such Beauty. Today, for you, I did this nice, warm, smoky eye with glitter on the lid with a bold, dark lip for the fall and winter months. I just did my eyes today, so if you'd like to see how you get the full, flawless foundation routine, that was my latest video, and you can go ahead and watch that before this if you need to. So if you'd like to see how I achieve this look and this bold lip, then just keep on watching. So today for my eye look, I'm going to be using the Morphe's palette, the 350. It's one of my favorite palettes right now because as we're going into the winter months, it's good for those warm tones, which I love. This is what the palette looks like. It has a lot of warm tones, but also some cool ones as well, and it's both matte and shimmery. So first, with my fluffy brush, I'm going to take for a transition color, which will just help you blend out colors later. It is a color that is normally closer to your skin tone, a little darker, just to fluff in the crease. So I am going to go with this one, which it will be hard to see, but this color right here. I'm just going to dabble it on the brush, tap off the excess, and then you're just going to start fluffing it into the crease. Just if you're doing like windshield wiping and sweeping motions. And you're just going to blend back and forth till you have no harsh lines. Okay, so next you can already see that both of the lids are have a little bit of definition already. And so now we're going to work a little bit on the lid. So I'm going to take this flat brush, it's actually a dual ended brush, it is by Urban Decay. Any flat brush will be good to pack on the lid. You don't want anything fluffy for the lid. Okay. So I think I'm just going to put down a base of this shade right here. It's like a light peachy color and just tap off the excess and then just go and start packing it on the lid and don't worry about it being precise because you can just blend it out after with the same transition color so with nothing else on the product I'm just gonna go in with my blending brush and just blend it out once you have those lines blended out, then I'm going to work more in the crease in outer V. Okay. I'm going to be taking this also Urban Decay brush. It's also dual-ended. It's a slightly less fluffy brush, but it's still good for blending. It's not as less controlled. It's more precise. And I'm going to go with a darker color for the crease. I'm going to go in with this warm, like, chocolate brown right down here and just pick up a little product and tap off the excess and then just go ahead and start lightly blending it in the crease. You don't want it to go as high up as your transition color, so keep it more in the crease. The transition color, can you can buff towards the eyebrow. Once again, take a clean blending brush or add more of your transition color and just buff over that line again. And once you have it blended out as much as you want where there's no harsh lines, now we're just going to do a little color in the outer V, which is just that outer corner. It's just going to add a little bit more definition and sultry smoke to it. And this I'm actually going to take my Sigma brush. It is the Sigma Firm Blending E44. And it's just a tapered brush. It still has a little give to it, but it's more dense and it goes to a small tip. Which will help for the more precise placement. And this time I'm going to go in with this color right here. It's more, it's really like a dark dark chocolate brown. Just dab the tip. You don't want too much product. 
And I'm just going to go ahead and just put it right on the outer part. And slightly go up to the crease, but don't take it at not even halfway. And you can already see the more definition and smokiness it has already portrayed. And you just want to blend the lid color and that V color together so they create a nice gradient effect from each other and there's no harsh lines. So just softly feather it into the center of the lid. And do the same to the other eye. Okay. And once again, it's always about the blending. You're going to take your blending brush and just blend it out. So next, I'm just going to add a little shimmer to the inside of the lid in the center of the lid. And I think I'm going to go in with this really pretty coppery shimmer shade. With another flat brush. Top off some of the excess and then just pat it in the center. With shimmer shades, most of the time it's always nice to have a base down first before the shimmer shadow just because sometimes the shimmer shadows are not as pigmented and you can kind of see some gaps in between the glitter or sheen that it has. So it's always nice to put down a base so they're more opaque. Okay, so now we're going to take a brow bone highlight, which is normally either a shimmer or a matte, but it's usually like a cream or a slight golden champagne. So I'm going to use a sheen one that's just going to make your brow bone pop. I'm going to go in with this color right here, or no, this color. I'm just going to dab a little and I'm just going to put it right underneath the brow bone. I'm also going to take that highlighted color and just pop it into the inner corner. Which is really going to brighten up your eyes. Now we're going to work on the lower lash line, which is basically going to be using mostly the same colors and shades you used on the top, but just with smaller brushes. I am going to take the Sigma again, the tapered one, and I'm going to go in with that color we used on the lid, just lightly. Then you're just going to drag it along the lower lash line. Bring it almost all the way in, but stop when you get to your inner corner highlight. Now we're going to move on to the darker shades. I'm going to take the end of this Urban Decay brush, which is a very small, very tiny brush, and it's flat, so it's going to get a nice line underneath there. And I'm going to take this color, which is what we use in the crease, and just make it closer to the lash line. Woo! Look at that highlight. <laughs> Blinding. Just how I like it. <laughs> okay, and last color I'm gonna go in with the end of I believe this is an Urban Decay brush, but it does not say. But it's just kind of a little small dome. It doesn't go to a point, but it's just a little dome brush. And I'm going to go in with the outer V color, which is this dark, dark chocolate brown. Just to smoke up the bottom lash line even more. And this will be good. Just connect it kind of to the top. And this will just blend it all together. gonna add a little more orange to the bottom because I feel like it got lost.
pop it right underneath the dark colors. And now, after that's done, then I just have to grab my mascara. Which is the CoverGirl Lash Blast. It gives volume and length. I'm just going to coat them a few times. I naturally have long lashes, so it never takes me too many coats to get them how I like. But definitely go into as many coats as you need. But this mascara, you don't even need too many because it's just that good of a formula. And I have tried. Oh, that would happen. That classic mascara dot right on the eyelid. So just do as many coats as you need and then just go on the bottom lash line and I like to do a little wiggle. Just wiggle the wand and coat the lower lashes. Just so slightly. Be careful you don't want to press too hard underneath here because you'll get some mascara on the bottom of your lower lash line. And now to top off the look, I'm going to be using one of my new favorites, which is the uh, NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipsticks. So they're almost like a liquid lipstick, but they dry to a satin finish, so they're not super drying, but they're still long-lasting. And this is actually in the color Downtown Beauty. It is a dark brown, which is great for the fall and winter months. I'm just going to apply that. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to get this beautiful, warm, bronzy, sultry look with the bold lip. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe so you can get more notifications on videos in the upcoming weeks, which would be awesome. Also, you can find more of my makeup on my social media account. My username is kmsuch underscore m-u-a. You can follow me over there. And I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. And cut.